channel. So today my house is in major need of like top to bottom clean. So I am going to try to accomplish it all today. Um, if I don't quite get it all finished, I might do a little bit tomorrow, but I'm gonna try to get it all done today. That's my goal. And before I even get into that, I wanted to tell you guys that this video is in collaboration with my friend Lexi. She has actually been on my channel before in my vlogs because we are good friends in real life. And I want you guys, as soon as you're done with this video, to go check out her. She's also cleaning her her whole house and the exciting part is is they just moved to a fixer-upper so she's actually cleaning her house and moving in kind of all at the same time so I have no idea what all she's packing into her video but it's gonna be a lot and um, they, there's a lot of stuff that they're gonna be doing in that house to renovate it and do some cool stuff to it eventually because they are looking to buy where they're moving to she's a mom of two little ones one of them is Everly's age uh, her little guy Malik and the other one is Hazley's age her little girl Linya you guys will enjoy her vlogs she her and her husband own a business that they um, take down trees and all kinds of stuff so extremely interesting and she has a broad range of content all right well I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on this house like I said I have a lot to do I'd really like to get at least several things done in each room and blow through it all so let's get started I started out in my dining room and just cleaned up um, the table and sprayed everything down with my Mrs. Myers pine scent. Oh, I just love all of these holiday scents that we have going on and they've been so fun to clean with in preparation for Christmas. So since this is a realistic clean with me, you guys are seeing my mountain, mountain of laundry <laughs> and I needed to get all of it done it was just to the point where we are running out of clothes you know how it is if you are a homemaker yourself so um, we were just yeah to that point and I had to get things folded so after I put the laundry upstairs I tackled my laundry room I had a grove order that needed to be put away and I have everything organized in these bins and so I just put everything away And then I recently got a new vacuum cleaner over Black Friday and so I took my old cordless out of here with the mount because my new one doesn't have a mount, it stands on its own and I just put everything in the garage. I decided to just kind of move it out of my way so that I could store my mop and stuff a little bit better in that little nook. And that is the battery charger for my new cordless. So I decided to try to hide it up in this basket. And honestly, it's been so great. I can just pull the new battery out and then put the one that needs to be charged right inside the basket and nobody even knows that it's there. And then I grabbed my orange clove scent, another holiday scent from Grove, and just wiped my washer and dryer down. This spin mop is the best. If you guys don't have one, I highly, highly recommend it. I have tried several mops and this is definitely the best by far. It has amazing reviews on Amazon and I always have the link below for it. And lately I've been loving using Mr. Clean Erasers 
for my sink it just does such a good job of cleaning up the stainless steel along with like one of my dish soaps um, I just haven't found anything else that gets them quite as shiny and gets the hard water stains out of the sink Then I always tie up my curtains into knots. It's just a little trick to keep the ends off the floor so that the mop doesn't hit them. And sometimes I use my broom and since I got this shark cordless that does such a good job on hard floors, um, I do use this too at times. It just depends on what I'm doing or how bad the floor is or what's on the floor that needs to be swept up. Next, I just tackled some of the glass and the windows in the dining room. My little girls get lots of fingerprints all over everything in this room. And then this was actually the next day. I didn't get everything completely finished that I wanted to the day before, so I tackled the playroom, um, just got getting things picked up and the floors all done.
I moved over into my room and just got the bed made and things straightened up. I like to wake up to a clean room. It just helps me feel like the rest of my day is clear and just relaxes my mind a little bit. And then this is the blanket I got over Black Friday. It is so incredibly soft. It's from Target. If I can find a link for it, I will definitely be linking it below for you guys. I grabbed my girls bedding and sheets. It was just time to get them washed. I do keep a plastic sheet or I don't know what they call them. They're not necessarily like a shiny plastic, but a, a waterproof sheet underneath of their bedding just because we're going through potty training right now. Then the last thing I did was just wipe down the windows and vacuumed really quick in our family room. I'm working on getting the, um, I'm working on getting it redone. I got rid of the furniture that was in there, and I'm hoping in January to get some different furniture and re decorate it the way that I would like to. All right, you guys, that is everything that I got done for this whole house clean with me. The only exception is that I did not get my bathrooms done in this time around. I'm thinking probably in the next day or two I'll do them. And they're kind of their own project in and of themselves, but it's just what I didn't get done. But since this is a realistic whole house clean with me, I'm going to show you guys the playroom. I put the girls in there while I was doing their room and swept in the family room. Yep. <laughs> But at least I know the floor is mopped and clean, and it's a, it smells good in here. <laughs> Did you dump everything out again? So anyways, um, just for a little laugh for you guys, and if you're a mom, you probably can totally relate to the fact that as soon as you get stuff cleaned up, they mess it up again. Um, but anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button for me, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Also, don't forget to go check out Lexi's channel.